What's up, boy? You beautiful, gorgeous, sexy people out there. Welcome back to my Raiders franchise. It's been a week. It's been a week since we faced off against the New York Giants, and we lost. We had a last-second Hail Mary go up, and we failed. We didn't succeed, so that put us to 7-2 and two on the season. Going into week 11, we're facing off against the Houston Texans, the team that had the first pick of the draft this year. And they got Jadavion Clowney. So, guys, you remember earlier, we traded Terrell prior to them, and we got the beast, the man, the man from Miami, Andre Johnson. He's a monster wide receiver, and he's been coming through for us big time. He, look at that. You see that? Terrell Pryor drops back, and he hits that Martin dude on a dime. And they score a touchdown. Two plays into it, and they're already up on us. He's doing like a Superman pose. Oh, baby. <laughs> Things are going crazy. So, guys, I want to apologize first off. I was busy all, all weekend, which explains the delay in this video. I was busy with my real-life job, catching crowd surfers, and all that crazy epicness of concerts and all that stuff. So my voice may sound a little bit different. I've been yelling at people all day. I've been cussing at people all weekend. So guys, I'll basically I'll be back to normal next week. I'll be back to my regular schedule next week with Madden and everything like that. I just want to apologize real quickly. So you see here, I hit the slant route to Jacoby Ford. I hit the slant. And going into this game, you know, they had Terrell Pryor. But lately, our offense has been a little bit explosive. Last week, we turned the ball over way too many times. We were giving them a Kool-Aid, basically. You know, you got your Skittles. You got your Kool-Aid in your hand. And you don't hand that crap out. You keep that crap to yourself. You keep that shiznit to yourself. You let nobody have that. But Mike Vick and myself, we were throwing bad passes. We were handing out our Skittles. We were, we're selfish. We don't want to do that. We don't want to give anyone our Skittles. We got to keep that. So... A big goal this week on offense is basically not to turn the ball over and to run the ball. To do be smart with the football, to be smart with the rock, with the rock. So I hit the play action. I'm trying to throw it out to Andre, Andre Johnson, and he was running a comeback. That didn't work. I threw a lame duck, and then I tried to come back. I tried to hit Ford on the, um, on the end route, and that doesn't work. They picked the ball off, and right away I'm scared because we threw four picks last week, and they got an interception. They took my skittles away from me. What is this crap? So we got to get stopped. We got to get something. If we turn the ball over, if things go like they did last week, then it's going to be a nightmare. I'm now wondering what's going on there. I have double coverage. There's my starting defensive lineup. You see right here, I got Navarro Bowman, and I got DJ Hayden as my main cornerback. But, guys, we need to not turn the ball over. On defense, I thought we were going to blitz. I thought I would have basically manhandled Terrell Pryor. I thought we were going to have things going. That didn't work out at all. So, you see that second play where they score that touchdown? I was actually running a blitz, and Troy Pryor is somehow like Mike Vick. He's not the real, the old Mike Vick. He's basically doing crazy stuff. The one time Mike Vick was in or, uh, Philadelphia, and he had an amazing year. Or he's like Peyton Manning out there. That's a better analogy. He's like Peyton Manning out there. He's hitting everyone, and he's unstoppable. They're moving down the field. I see Aaron Foster, and I jacked that dude. Sit down, Navarro Bowman. Just planted you on the floor. And then they score a touchdown because apparently Terrell Pryor is a god. He can do whatever he wants. That's just bull crap. I'm calling bull crap on that one. Get real, Madden. That would never happen in real life. Unrealistic completely. And then look at that. I tried to run a spin move. And I just get my dome rocked. I just get planted. I'm sitting on the floor and I'm crying. I'm in the fetal position. Scared for life. Then I hit the screen. I'm hitting McFadden. I'm trying to get the screen. That dude gets two pancakes. My lineman gets two pancakes. He's playing people to the floor. <laughs> so guys, so far, we've had a pretty decent season. We're 7-2 going into this game, as I said before. And you know, we're in playoff race. The Houston Texans, they're going to be a big win if I can get it. I don't exactly know what the record was heading into this game, though. But you see a hit. Andre Johnson on the streak. He comes up big for us again. He has three receptions, three receptions, 50 yards, and I'm going to hand it off to my man, D. McFadden, and he's going to do some poses. He's going to strike a pose. He's doing his bodybuilding pose. Superman, Superman. Na, 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 na. Touchdown. <laughs> so they, they throw a curl route. 
I was just diving. I was just having fun. I was trying to get something. I was trying to get my defense going. Up to this point, Troy Pryor has not missed a pass. He's perfect. If this were bowling, he would be bowling 300. He hasn't missed anything. What is going on? Troy Pryor misses everything in real life. That's why he got he left Ohio State because he sucked. It had nothing to do with tattoos. He was just completely doo-doo. Doo-doo. He was poopy. So they're coming into the red zone again. They're in the red zone again. On defense, I'm, I've been crazy crazily bad i've been horrible the past two weeks i've been giving up touchdowns i haven't been stopping them look at that 13 passes in a row guys 13 passes that's just crazy and there's 14 but thankfully we stopped them we get to, to second and goal they come back he's gonna throw another pass and my dude was nowhere to be found my i think my defensive and my, my left outside linebacker he was nowhere to be found they hit the tight end and now they're up 21 to 7 and it's going into halftime what is going on, defense? I cannot get anything going. I, I usually, in the first couple of games, I was a big shiznit house. Like, sh you know what I'm saying. You know the S word. Like, we're not going to cuss up on this today. I'm trying to keep my profanity down. I'm trying to let it to where kids can watch me. I'm kidding. But, guys, we're trying to score here. We're trying to get it going. I had another crew out. I'm trying to get Andre Johnson involved. I'm trying to get everyone involved. Right now, I should have hit square. I didn't even notice that, but look at that. J.J. Watt just ran Mike Vick down. He ran me down. So going into halftime, we're out gaining them on the ground by like 16 yards. And they're just ro rolling all over us. They're throwing through the air. They're an arsenal. They're aerial assault. They're dynamic. They're just destroying me through the air. So our plan wasn't working for basically blitzing trail prior we need to stick away from that i'm going to stick to coverages i'm going to stick to man to man maybe even mix in a zone here and there but then you see here my defensive line or my offensive line is not blocking for me that's why you're fat guys you gotta block for me you gotta help me out i try to run a fake and then look at that my dude just stopped what are you doing reese you just gave away our skittles again god we need to switch to some m ms or something maybe hold on to those more fatty so they kind of try to run a screen here He's going to the outside. I try to force him back in. I stop him, thankfully, because he kept with me. He kept going to the outside, and that yeah, that helped and uh, stopped them from getting a touchdown. So third and four. There's it's the third quarter. We need to stop. We need to keep it down to a three possession game at least. We can't let them score another touchdown or we're screwed. So we do hold them to a field goal. We end up stopping them, thankfully. Thank the thank God for that. So coming back. With my offense, I run a counter here. I get my fatties out on the edge. I get me D Mac out on the edge, and I get that 10-yard gain. He has 11 rushes for 43 yards. That's like three yards a carry or four yards a carry. We got something going, and then hit the play action. You know it's going to Andre Johnson every single freaking time. And I'm trying to run a sweep here. It doesn't work, but. They got face mask penalty on them, and that's a 15-yard penalty. You can't do that. And then look at that. J.J. Watt just ran me down again. What is this? He's a fat kid. How is he running Michael Vick down? That's insane. That's unrealistic. Nobody's going to run Mike Vick down that's a defensive lineman. I'm calling bullshit on that. And he gets another sack. He has three sacks. So I got Jankowski, the iron boot out there. He's the only one that I feel comfortable with trying to kick a 61 yard field goal it doesn't go through it is nowhere close i had no hope no hope and i should have just pawned the ball away and tried to pin them down deep in their goal or in their end zone so it's third and 11 i had come up with a big stop there we need to get the ball back because we're running out of time we're running out of time i only got four minutes to save the world and I, I, you know i was coming up big i had great coverage on that it was man to man we ended up forcing them to punt the ball it comes down and I got you. Our uh, Jacoby Ford was injured, so I had Stru or Moore out there returning the ball, which I need to fix that. I need to change that up. And then I hit Moore on the curl, and he doesn't catch it. He has butterfingers out there. It's like he just went to the movies. And I hit him again. This time, it's on the screen, the wide receiver screen, which I love running. I love running the screen route. So we're going into the fourth quarter. We're down. By 17 we need to score on this drive we need to get it in the end zone we need to punch that ball into the end zone to cut down their lead 
Oh, we have no hope. We have no chance. And then you know it's going to Andre Johnson, baby. He has six receptions. 90 yards. Count them. 90 yards. And then J.J. Watt runs me down again. What? He's on steroids or something. I'm calling Roy Rage. <laughs> Look at that grab. One-handed Andre Johnson. Seven receptions. 115 yards. And that was the beautiful. That was the catch of the season. He did a diving. One-arm catch. And put that ball out of the air. And I'm trying to roll out with Mike Vick. I'm trying to get on the edge, but they're running me down. So fourth and four. We're going for it. I should have hit um, more. I didn't. I went to Johnson. I'm going to Johnson because I trust him. Everyone else has butterfingers. They're dropping everything. So we're close to the end zone, guys. We're in the red zone. We're about to punch it in. I hand the ball off to Jennings. He punches it in. We get another touchdown. We're cutting down the lead. He does his Superman pose. He's a man, the man of steel. So I had to go for an onside kick try to get the ball back to try to cut down their lead it goes right to them i couldn't angle it i couldn't do anything so now they're on their side of the 50 i get a big sack here <clears throat> second and 16 excuse me for that cough but second and 17 i mean and i stop him again with navarro bowman so third and 16 we got them down to third and long guys Third and long. They have no hope. I'm busting out the quarters defense. I'm going man to man. I'm not risking anything because when I blitz, I get destroyed. I get demolished, and they throw it right over me. It's last second. I didn't call any timeouts, so we forced them. We had it going. We forced them to four or three and out, which is what we need. And then I see that dude on a streak. I should have stayed in the pocket, but it didn't happen. It didn't work out. And then I try to roll out again, and I get run down again, but this time by some other defensive lineman. Madden, fix your crap. What is going on here? How is some defensive lineman running down Mike Vick? You will never see that in your freaking life. I try to run the out route. It doesn't work. So by now, guys, we... Right, you know we're going to drop another game. We're on a losing streak now. I'm saying it right up. We're on a losing streak right now. I only have two minutes, less than two minutes left. And I fail there miserably. And this Arian Foster just demolishes me. So they're in the red zone again. Again they're in the red zone. And they're just running the ball. They're running the clock out. I have no timeouts. They punch the ball in right here. That basically seals the deal. I just want to show you guys one more click. Look, look at this. I'm right out here. I'm right out here. Mike Vick's gone. But no, this tub of lard gets me again. He's on steroids, I swear. So, guys, we lose the game. I hate you, JJ. What? We lose the game 31-14. to Stay tuned next week for more Madden NFL with my Raiders franchise. We're going to get a W next week. Stay frosty. I love you.